A recent op-ed published by RT was authored by Slavoj Zizek. In it, he makes some comments about the current political situation in the world, particularly the United States. And in it, he makes a very interesting jibe at third worldism. But let me give you more context about what he was saying. But is Sanders the true alternative, or some, as some radical leftists claim, is he just rather a rather moderate social democrat who wants to save the system? The answer is that this dilemma is false. Democratic socialists started the mass movement of radical reawakening. The fate of such movements is not predestined. I would say that it largely is. Had Zizek read Lenin, particularly with regards to the Second International. But I don't particularly know what his position towards Lenin was. I know he is anti-Stalin, so he's probably anti-Lenin as well. See, we have already experienced this before. We have already seen it happen. So I would criticize him by for not having learned from the past in this situation. I mean, it is right there, and he is an academic, so I, w I would assume he's probably read Lenin's works at uh, some time or another. Although, here's the interesting jibe he makes at Third Worldism. Only one thing is certain. The worst Im imaginable stance is one of some Western radical leftists who tend to write off the working class in developed countries as workers' aristocracy living off the exploitation of developing countries and caught in racial chauvinist ideologies. In their view, the only radical change can come from nomadic proletarians, immigrants, and the poor of the third world as a revolutionary agent, maybe linked to some impoverished middle-class intellectuals in developed countries. But does this diagnosis hold? Well, as a third worldist, I would say yes. And uh, it, it's um, uh, very interesting that uh, essentially he says that there is no proletarian in, in the first world. Well, you see, we don't say that. We say there is no significant proletarian force. We say there is no significant revolutionary potential. There is some, but it's very small. So Zizek is misrepresenting what we're saying in this uh, si si situation. And personally, for me, I wouldn't even find migrant laborers to even really be all that revolutionary. And I, the reason I say this, despite being super exploited and super oppressed, they already chose to leave their own countries and come to the United States, taking the risk of illegally crossing the border and all that, to avoid having to fight at home. So I don't know what it is that makes people think that they would fight when they get to the United States. Because they've already deliberately made a huge sacrifice and uh, exposed themselves to a huge danger trying to get away from it. I'm sure maybe some way you could organize them and do something positive, yes, but revolutionary? Sorry, the, this, the, it, it doesn't make much sense in my mind. And this comment about impoverished middle-class intellectuals in developed countries, um, we have never said such a thing like that. I mean, that's, that's just straight up false. But he continues. True. Today's situation is global, but not in the simplistic Maoist sense of opposing bourgeois nations and proletarian nations. Immigrants are sub-proletarians. Their position is very specific. They are not exploited in the Marxist sense and are as such not predestined to be the agents of radical change. Consequently, I consider radical choice suicidal for the left. Sanders is to be unconditionally supported. It's very strange, but Yes, there are oppressor nations and victim nations of imperialism. I have no idea what he's talking about here. There's that there's bourgeois and proletarian nations. There very clearly is. There's imperialist and victims of imperialist. I I I I don't even know where he even gets this idea from. I mean, if or if he has a rejection of Lenin, that would explain why he doesn't seem to understand imperialism very well. But to say that uh, immigrants are not exploited in the Marxist sense? What are you talking about? Immigrants work the worst jobs, the most labor-intensive jobs, for the least amount of money. Yeah, that actually would be the definition of exploitation. Particularly once you work in farmer's fields in the United States. 
I mean, that is the actual, you know, physical production. That is the physical labor that goes into the commodity production. That is a very true sense of exploitation. And it's far, far worse than just about anything in the country. So I have no idea where he gets this idea that uh, migrant laborers are, are not oppressed or are not exploited in the Marxist sense. I mean, so sorry, this is complete nonsense. I have no idea where he's getting this from. And saying that they are not, as such, is not predestined to be the agents of uh, radical change. Well, I, I guess if you're not exploited, you're kind of not. I mean, if you want to go by Marxist orthodoxy, in that where Marx said that uh, the, the lumpen were not revolutionary, which I would disagree with. I'm sorry, but this thing out of Zizek, it, he attacks third worldism on like these, these grounds that don't even make any sense. Claims that immigrants aren't exploited, which is not true. And then he ends up saying nothing in the end. He just says, Bernie Sanders is some kind of a hope. All third worldism is, um, third worldism is bad. And then Sanders is the choice of the suicidal left. Well, what are you, what are you saying we should do, Zizek? Do what? You just said Every choice that there is, is bad, without offering an alternative. In fact, what were you even saying by this entire op-ed? He said essentially nothing. Well, uh, he made a statement against third worldism, and I thought, I figure, you know, I, I think I'm fairly well known for being a supporter of third worldism, and possibly... <laughs> Uh, a very important person when it comes to the voice of third worldism. I thought eh, perhaps you, I, I really should respond to that. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.